Haan, so fine, I am Pratik Jain. I graduated in 2016 only, last year. And I wrote the preliminary examination in August, cleared it. I scored around 135 marks. Uh, and I think the cutoff for uh, IFOS is going to be around 127 or 128. And then I wrote the IFOS main examination in November. In December, I wrote the civil services examination, cleared both the mains. Now I've got third rank in IFOS. So it was a great journey. Plus, I feel that uh, the main thing that I worked that has worked for myself is the strategy that I made because it was really difficult to manage everything with the college. I joined IMS in September 2015 and at that time the last year of my college was going on. So a lot of times I used to, and I'm from Bitspilani, so I used to travel back and forth from Pilani to Delhi, Delhi to Pilani. I used to attend weekend classes over here uh, and sir was very cooperative. He showed the confidence in me. He told me that, okay, you can come here, you can study here sincerely for two or three days a week. You can go back, you can contact me anytime, whenever you get time. And he was always there for me. So, yeah, this was the strategy. I managed everything was with college. And I got a good rank in IFOS, hoping for a good rank in civil services also. So, I think this, this matters the most. Everyone has a different ball game. Everyone has to make a different strategy. What suits him or her? You have to make that. Whatever is your optional, whatever, however you are doing in GS 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, the course is difficult. We have a lot of things to manage. But if we do it with a good strategy, everything can be managed very, very easily, very nicely. So, yeah, what should I tell now? This is the first time I'm <laughs> interacting with the students. So, yeah, anyone questions, please. I can start with the books, but that is very boring. I never enjoy talk, toppers talking about the book list they have read. It's available on the internet. You can consult any blog, any vlog. So many are up on the internet. And it really feels very boring when a topper starts talking about the books he has read, all the topics. So it's really very boring. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I will straight away jump to the questions and so that we can talk in a, in a very interactive manner. Any questions, please? About, about math specifically, if you want to ask uh, about any particular topic. Please. Or if you want to tell me what books I read, I can do that also. But yeah, if you want me to, then only I'll proceed. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Congratulations. Thank you. Your name is? My name is Om Prana. Um, hey. So, you rightly mentioned about the your strategy. Mm -hmm. And can you show your strategy for mathematics as well as theory? Okay. Uh, first of all, anyone from Bits here? No? No? Okay. Yeah. So, for maths, uh, I started, to be very honest, I started preparing, although I'm saying that I managed it with college. But I started preparing back in 2014. So that means before prelim examination, I had two years with me. And I studied for these two years in a very dedicated manner during my last two years of college. So back then, how I started mathematics? First of all, I managed to do some courses informally in the college because there we have MSc Mathematics also running. I was not. Uh, part of MSc Mathematics degree, but yeah, I used to attend some of the classes over there. So I started preparing maths back then, two years back. In 2015, I joined Mathematics uh, here, IMS coaching, because that is very important. Co joining the coaching becomes very important because you can see the competition in this very class. You can interact with the other students. You can actually feel who is studying better than you. Ultimately, you have to be in the top five of Mathematics optional. That should be your target. And if, if, if that is so, I think you will easily end up being in the top 100 in civil services as well. So yeah, that's why I joined the coaching, only to observe how the other students are studying. Uh, yeah, this was the basic strategy. And as far as the structure, how I started, what subjects I approached first. So first I covered the basic courses like OD, PD, Linear Algebra, LPP, Numerical Analysis. These are very simple. Vector spaces, matrices. Very simple. You can 
complete one course in four or five days, I think. If you, if you give all your 24 hours to these courses, what I mentioned, all of these are very simple. It will not take more than five to six days to complete these for the first time. But you have to revise it again and again, solve a lot of problems, solve a lot of test series. And it works like that only. So I think, first of all, just complete the basic thing. That should be your goal. And you should decide for yourself what is easy for you. So yeah, first of all, cover the easy thing. I believe ODE, ODE PDE, linear algebra, um, vectors. These are very easy. LPP is very easy. Numerical analysis is again very easy. It will not take much time, believe me. You can do it within five or six days if you study dedicatedly. After that, I think calculus plus real analysis takes a lot of time to absorb. But once you do that, it becomes very easy. Modern algebra, I'm really sorry, I can't do this. I don't know how to do this. Uh, I stuck with some very complex problems. You must have seen civil services paper this time. There were very difficult questions this time. And it was very difficult for me to solve it. So yeah, I, I gave two months, three months to this course. But then also I felt like I, 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 difficult, difficult to solve modern algebra problems. Again, the same thing with fluid mechanics. These are the most difficult courses. This will demand a lot of time, lot of understanding, seriously. Plus the kind of questions that we are getting in the examination. The point is that the questions that we are getting in the examination, everyone feels that they are difficult. So yeah, if you have a very basic understanding, yes, you should give time. I'm not saying that you can't just avoid it, ignore it. Because for 10 markers or even some 15, 20 markers can be solved if you, if you study seriously. You have to devote time, at least two, three months to both these topics. It will take a lot of time. Modern algebra is hell a lot of a very big topic. So yeah, you should take this in a gradual manner. Start studying from now onwards because modern algebra will take a lot of time to build the understanding for it, for you. you. You have to give a lot of time. So first reading, second reading, third reading, you can't just think that in just one reading you will be able to complete the entire syllabus. It's not possible for these two courses. So yeah, you can, I think not at the last, you should not keep this at the last, but you should just continue doing it for all the time, till the mains. It will take a lot of time. And the other courses, you can do it after these. Yeah. So this is this this was mathematics strategy. All the problems from when you Problems, uh, um, you did only the notes part or you did books as well? No, books as well. First I covered all the notes. I, I usually used to proceed like if, I, if I'm starting with OD, then I'll complete all the notes for OD. Then I will pick up uh, Rai Singhania, solve the entire book, every example, every single example. I didn't leave any, every single example, in the first go only. So, yeah. Notes are important, books are also important. I have books for all the topics. I the test yes, I uh, appeared for two test series. One I joined in February, and the other one I joined in uh, the time between prelims and mains, 18 test series. It was an 18 test series, and that ran from September to November. Yeah. And the topics you have mentioned, like those easier ones. Hmm. No, no, that is not happening. You have to cover the entire syllabus. But all I'm saying is, once you cover, like, let's say these these are six courses. Once you cover six courses out of thirteen, you will feel confident about yourself. If you are able to solve problems for at least six courses, ultimate goal has to be to cover all the topics. You, we can't leave anyone. No. I think this kind of interaction will be okay, right? Yeah. Congratulations, Pete. Uh, Thank you. Success. Uh, myself, Gaurav Sana. Hey. Uh, actually, I want to you know that Matt Silver showed you. So how do you manage GS with that? 
And the preparation of GS. Mm. Um, are you concentrated only on the papers or something? No, I studied GS exhaustively. Okay. Exhaustively. That's why I'm saying two years before my preliminary examination, I was studying very hard, like uh, easily around 14 to 15 hours a day. And I covered GS exhaustively. Uh, I covered all the basic books, obviously. I read them for at least seven to eight times. But I did not th in depend entirely on mathematics. Many people think that only mathematics, essay and ethics will take you to the other side. But yes, it l this should be the first pri priority, essay, ethics, mathematics. But yeah, you can't leave GS 1, 2, 3. These are very important. And it now, for facing the interview as well, knowledge that you have gained in GS 1, 2, 3 makes you very confident to talk in front of the interview panel. You have to know that. Plus, mains is the, uh, this is my experience of mains. I've written two mains, forest service and civil services. So d during both the mains, it actually tests your nerves. You have to know everything. One, two, three, GS one, two, three. Uh, so I think you should divide your time. It, yeah, obviously more time has to be given to mathematics, but I think then also you should work in a ratio 60 to 40 or 70 to 30 as per your needs. Okay, uh, I started answer writing practice somewhere in November 15, November, December 15, around yeah one year before mains. But at that time, I just took a flavor of answer writing how I, to, to feel, just to see how comfortable I am with answer writing. But after that, I concentrated more on mathematics optional and reading part of GS only. So my basic preparation for answer writing was after prelim only. And it doesn't take much time. If, if you are very thorough with all the basic concepts of GS, and if you're reg regularly reading all the current affairs and the Hindu. So if you're doing that, I don't think content-wise you'll feel any difficulty in answer writing. The only thing is the speed. So I uh, practiced, I did not write on the keyboard. I used to solve it on paper. Never uploaded any answers, so you'll not find any. Uh, so I used to write the question, so I took around 7 to 8 minutes to solve every question. So this was about a series. Uh, I think uh, mathematics optional people need to focus more on maths only. Uh, I completed my math syllabus by February 16, because at that time I joined the test series. Test series is very important. Uh, anyone who has joined test series February that is running currently. No. So yeah, two te I joined two test series plus sir has previous test series papers also. So I solved two test series here and I took around four year test series, previous uh, year test series and I solved them at home. So that becomes around five to six test series, around 15 papers each. Because after covering the basic syllabus, you should not again and again cover the same book only. Yes, revision is important, but I think if you solve the test series, test papers, then it actually simulates your mind to solve question for the examination. Uh, it will make things simple for the exam. Plus, if, if, if basic portion is complete and you're then focusing on solving the test series, solving questions from different uh, chapters, different topics, then it will become easier for your mind to just go again and again here and it will make learning easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Pratik. Good evening. Congratulations. My name is Risha. Sir, what was your second option for FOS? Yes, it was forestry. Sir, Sir yeah. how did you manage in this mathematics? For uh, in Bits Pilani, I had a dual degree in Mechanical Engineering and Biological Science. BE in Mechanical, MSc in Biology, yes, it's a very rare combination. Everyone has a face like this, but yeah, I had this. So Biology helped me to prepare forestry, but it's a very simple uh, optional. You have one book, Manikandan. Sir recommended that to me. It's a very simple book and it's a very simple optional. I gave around, let's say, 
1.5 hours into one month for forestry. That's it. 1.5 hours into 30 days for forestry before the forestry examination. Nothing more than this. And three days before the actual examination. So yeah, it doesn't take much time. Forestry is an easy optional. I think everyone uh, who clears with maths take forestry only. It's a very popular optional for IFOS. Indian Forest Services is a very good, good optional. Today I feel very comfortable before going to the civil services interview just because I was able to crack preliminary for forest services. So yeah, if you are good at GS, I think you should focus at scoring high in the preliminary examination. It has two advantages. One, you will sail through forest services. It's very simple. Mains mein log aate hi nahi hai. Mains mein 1370 students were selected and I think around 750 wrote mains. Around 750 to 800 students wrote mains. Out of these 298 students were selected for the interview. And out of these 110 were selected for the finalist, I was ranked 3. So if you, if you see the selection ratio here, it's very comfortable. Plus it's a very, very good service. All India service, if you see the rank and pay scale, it's equivalent to IS. And after clearing the examination, when I went home, people were crazy. I met the forest service officer over there, divisional forest officer. He was very happy. Yeah, so it's a very good service. If you can, you should try for it during the pre preliminary examination. So yeah, scoring high in preliminary examination, one advantage, you get through IFOS. And it's easy. Seriously, it's easy. And second advantage, you feel very comfortable while preparing for mains. I've seen students who got somewhere around 115, 116. They were, they were not able to prepare for mains for like 50 days till the results of prelim were out. And it happens with everyone. If you are on the border, your mind can't focus on the mains preparation. It is just not possible. But if you know that you are getting 135 marks, 140 marks, so you are chill. Let's prepare for mains. If you, you, you yourself know that you are through. So you are try scoring high in preliminary examination. Every year the cutoff is increasing. Uh, I think this time it will be around 112. I think so because my friends who have, who have got 111, 112, they, they have not cleared preliminary examination. So yeah, every year the cutoff is increasing, the competition is increasing. People like us are making it more tough. So yes, you have to score well in prelim. Prelim is also a very important stage. We often feel that uh, it's just a qualifying examination. So let's just skip it. It's very easy. Prelim ito hai, options aate hai, MCQs ito hai. But it's, it gets difficult. When you sit there, it gets difficult. So before going to mains, you should make sure that you have a very decent score in prelim. So should I talk specifically about prelim preparation, mains preparation and interview preparation?